What's up everybody, it's Matt from Peter Glenn and in this video we're going to show you how to size your gloves properly and also how to check and make sure that they do fit you properly. Let's check this out. <music> All right, we're out playing in the snow. Gotta make sure that your hands stay warm no matter what. Or if it's a warm day, we just wanna make sure that your hands are more protected than warm. But again, we wanna make sure that the gloves do fit right. So right off the bat, sizing on gloves, most companies base the sizing on a measurement that is basically around your hand, around the palm of your hand, basically without including your thumb from just below your pinky to just below your pointer finger. So sometimes that's the greatest way to do it. Measure that and then look at the sizing charts and you can boom, get an idea. Aside from that, when you get your gloves, you basically wanna try them on and you wanna make sure that they fit right in between the fingers, in between the thumb here, cause some gloves do have longer thumbs, shorter thumbs longer fingers, shorter fingers. It really just depends on the glove. It depends on that company. The sizing is not standard from one company to the other, unfortunately. So they can have a little bit different fit. The one thing that is super, super important to take into consideration when uh, trying your gloves on too, is do not try your gloves on like this. A lot of gloves have pre-curved fingers. So you can actually look at these gloves and you can see that the fingers, they are curved a little bit. And the glove is actually built like that. This is something that they've been doing in the ski and snowboard industry for a long time, is doing pre-curved fingers. And the reason they do that is, take your hands, put them at your side right now, and just stare straight forward. Now don't do anything with your hands, look down at your hand. Look at the position that your fingers are in. That's the natural position of your hand. That's why they do pre-curved fingers because you do naturally have your fingers curved a little bit when they are resting. If you build a glove, especially if it's a little bit thicker glove and if it's a little bit stiffer because it's so thick and they build it straight, the problem is when you put your hands in there, your hand wants to be in a comfortable position and the glove is actually keeping it from being in that position. So it's something that actually can give you fatigue on your hands and you just definitely want to be comfortable throughout the entire day. But again, when you do try on a brand new pair of gloves that have not broken in yet, because all gloves do break in, not just the shell, the inside, everything. But when you try the glove on, put your hand in that resting position. Right now, my hand feels perfect inside of this glove. When I go like this, yeah, it's a little tight. I can actually feel the tips of the gloves. I can feel my fingers kind of pushing on the tip of the glove. And that's another thing that you want to do too. When you do have your fingers in the gloves, you do want your fingers up as close as you can get them to the front of the glove. Just like with fitting a pair of brand new snowboard boots and having your toes touching in the front of the boot, you do want your fingers touching in a glove. We don't want them touching to the point where the seam is actually not coming down to match up with your fingers. But again, touching in the front of the glove is not a bad thing. That just means more dexterity when you are doing things, messing with your buckles, your skiing, messing with your poles, any of that stuff. You wanna make sure that you can do that easily. And the more you actually have, if your glove is doing this, the harder it is to do that stuff. And also, if you are using your phone, it's a lot easier and a lot more accurate. Make sure, that, again, that that finger is as close as you can get it to the front of the glove. But again, first start out, measure your hand, find the gloves that fit you, and then when you can try them on, make sure that everything fits right and feels right. If you need to go with a different size, go for it. There's nothing wrong with that. That's what returns and exchanges are for. But again, super, super important to make sure that that glove fits you exactly right. Just again, not so you can just stay comfortable being warm all day, but also so you can have that dexterity and so you don't get fatigue in your hands when you're not doing anything and you're just resting with your gloves on. If you got any questions beyond what we talked about in the video, definitely leave some comments down below. We're on there every single day trying to answer your questions. We want to make sure that we obviously get you into some rad gear, but most importantly, we want to make sure that it's actually going to fit you so you can be comfortable all day long. Also, make sure to like, subscribe, and definitely get that notification bell on too so you can find out when all the new videos drop. Grab yourself a new set of gloves from PeterGlenn.com and get out and ride because any day of riding is a good day of riding. Yeah.